hello guys welcome back to this channel so i hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so this is cloud computing uh, week 4 assignment friends i hope almost every solution is correct but uh, anyhow these are my probable solutions so please uh, watch this video for reference purpose so guys if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel like this video and share this within your whatsapp student groups and also in your whatsapp status so that it will reach maximum number of students guys so guys if you are benefited or benefiting through our channel please like the video guys so that it will come to suggestions for many of the students like you so help each other for free of cost so let's see the solutions guys so one by one so first question In Microsoft Azure, a deployment user is required for FTP and local Git deployment to a web app. So for first question, the correct answer is option A, true. So mark option A guys. So let me erase this. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the second question. So friends do watch full video without skipping. If you skip the video you may miss some content. So do watch full video guys. So now let's move on to the second question. Azure web, web app lacks scalability. So for second question, the correct answer is option B that is false because Azure apps are highly scalable. They are highly scalable. But they have given lack. Lack means it doesn't have. So the meaning of lack means not mean does not. Does not. So they have given opposite right so answer is false so what is the answer guys option b false now let's move on to the third question the third one match the google cloud platform services with their respective domain So if you see BigQuery, it will be in App Services and next App Engine. So the Compute uh, App Engine will be in Compute, right? And Cloud SQL will be in Storage. So the answer is Option B. So let me clear this. So the answer is option B guys. So mark option B. So now, now let's move on to the fourth question. So fourth one. Which of the following is or are app services provided by GCP? So here there are two solutions guys. The first one is option A cloud endpoints. And the other one is option D BigQuery. So option A and D are probable solutions for fourth question. Guys, if you feel there should be any changes to be made to this solution, you can please give your opinion in the comment section, guys. 
so these are completely my probable solutions and according to my knowledge after watching the lecture i am giving these solutions so this may differ from actual solutions but i hope these are the probable solutions guys so option a and option d and now let's move on to the fifth question so fifth question identify the correct statement or statements about gcp storage so guys here there may be one or more answers but i am only confirm about only one option that is option d guys cloud storage provides flexible object storage which uh, with global edge caching so i am sure about only one option so if there are multiple options once please uh, give your opinion in the comment section guys so i think first option could be the probable one but i am not 100% sure about first option so i am marking only first only option d so without any risk so at least we will get partial marking right so i am going with option d guys if i get any update regarding this i will update in the comment section so before final submission once again check the solutions guys now let's move on to the sixth one so before moving on to the sixth question i want to make a small announcement guys so here we have prepared cloud computing exam preparation mcqs guys with nearly 5 years of nptel experience we have collected all these solutions question and answers so there are two packs available savings pack and super savings pack so both are the pdf uh, google drive link access so in super savings pack you'll get huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 number of mcqs for just 500 rupees only so no one in youtube is providing this many mcqs and no one even providing mcqs only our channel is doing that guys so you'll get the validity till the exam day and up to 5 members can access this that means 5 members combinedly pay 500 rupees not individual 500 rupees so combined you can uh, you can share your money with your classmates and you can combinedly buy this 500 rupees guys so per each, per each head it will just take 100 rupees only right but you have to uh, purchase this as a group guys so 500 rupees is the uh, the amount you have to make a payment of so up to 5 members can get access to this and uh, the topic coverage coming to the topic coverage very high topic coverage guys so most of the syllabus will be co uh, covered most of the topics will be covered here and search option is also available so it is easy to revise guys because it's a pdf and you can easily scroll even going to the exam hall also and the other one is 150 mcq spec the price is 300 rupee and the validity is till the exam day and it access for three members so for three members it will be 300 guys even if you are one person also it is 300 only but you have to purchase within a group so that it, money will be reduced for if you form group right so ask your classmates to contribute just 100 rupees only so that you can purchase any of these two packs but my recommendation is to make you choose this pack guys 300 mcq pack because you are getting more number of mcqs more number of mcqs means better practice which will leads to most probably better grade so think think once guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for so i have given this email id in the description box also so this is the email id guys only message me if you want to purchase this pack already many students have messaged me and purchased the uh, pdfs so hope you do so so there is one another pack which is i will show you here so this is the one guys so youtube membership for one person it is 119 rupees guys it is video format and only for one month i will show you how to join in that first go to our channel page so 
you can search S Kumar EDB in the search box. So it will a page appears like this. So here you can see. So there is exam preparation uh, MCQs available, right? So here you can see that, right? So cloud computing exam preparation part two video here. I have also uploaded part one video also. So if you want to join this pack, first go to our channel page. So click on join button here beside the subscribe button. There is join button. Click on that. So there are three packs available. So you have to select 119 per month pack guys. So click on 119 per month pack and click on join and next make payment. That's it. You will become a member of our channel and you can get access to all our members only videos. So in, if you want to access them, click on playlists after payment. So then click on NPTEL exam preparation videos. So here there are a lot of videos guys, 28 videos regarding different subjects. You can get access to all these videos guys. So all these videos. So here part one cloud computing and there is also part two for cloud computing. So you can get all these videos for 119 only. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me guys. So I think it's better to prefer this PDF pack guys because you are getting PDF. You can easily search questions in video. You cannot search that right and the membership uh, here you will get 300 MCQs there. You will get less number of MCQs, but here you will get 300 MCQs and also easy to revise and search option is available guys. So think once so already many students taken both these packs. So now let's get back to the solutions. So sixth one. At the time of de deployment of a app in Azure, an app in Azure, the system asks for a password. The password used to log in the Azure portal should be entered. So it is absolutely wrong, guys. So mark option B. And now let's get back to the seventh I mean, Let's move on to the seventh question. So seventh one. So seventh question. Google APIs helps what? So for seventh question, the answer is option D integrate Google services into the application. So mark option D. And now let's move on to the eighth question. Eighth one. There are two statements given. Statement one Azure supports public cloud platforms. So it is true. And next one Azure App Service Plan defines security. So I did not found this in the, def def uh, the definitions given. So I think option A could be the probable one, guys. I think mostly this could be the solution. So however, these are my probable solutions. So please use this for reference purpose. So now I'm going to mark option A. Now let's move on to the ninth question. So ninth one. Let me erase this first. So ninth question. What four functions does Keystone perform in OpenStack? So for ninth question, the probable answer is option C authentication and identity service. So I'm going with option C. So 
so option c and now let's move on to the final question of this assignment that is 10th one identify the incorrect statement incorrect statements on google app engine so for 10th question there are two probable solutions the first one is option a so guys actually here uh, they have given a uh, incorrect right so there are two probable solutions the first one is option b it is a part of gcp services infrastructure but because it is wrong actually it is compute infrastructure but they are, they have asked us incorrect right so option b is the answer and the other one is option c we need to worry uh, about patching actually we do not worry about patching and maintenance so but they have given to worry so these two are the incorrect ones so mark option b and option c as the probable solutions for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 4 assignment of cloud computing hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this within your whatsapp status and whatsapp student groups and it will reach maximum number of students so guys if you are interested in these pdfs you can message me to this email id so already many people have taken this and hope you also will do the same so here you will get 300 mcqs guys for just 500 rupees only up to five members can use that pdf you will get a google drive link access or you can also join uh, 119 rupee membership youtube membership but it is in video format and also for one month only for one person only and mcqs will be uh, less compared to that so it's better to take uh, 300 mcqs pack guys so already many students have taken this pdf our pdfs so that's it case for this video so hope this video helpful for you if you are benefited through our channel then please like this video and share this within your groups guys so that's it so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you